Hey, what's going on guys? So, for those who are kind of newer to my channel, you might not know this, but every now and then, me and some friends, we used to get together and we would watch Tariq Nasheed's documentary series, Hidden Colors. And as it as it tends to be, if you're doing like a, a, a re live response to a YouTube video, uh, it, it could take an hour to get through a 10 minute video. So, it takes several streams to get through even just one of these monolithic, you know, piles of shit documentaries. So since then, I've been doing Hidden Color Supercuts, where I take some of the footage and I chop up like the funniest, most insane parts and I put them all together. And that's what you're watching now, the latest installment of it. But why am I bringing this back right now? Well, that's because I fully intend to get the gang back together again for some more Hidden Colors. We're not sure exactly when it's going to happen, but we're planning it. So, in preparation for us doing it again, uh, here is an example of what you'll see when we do that stream. Enjoy! This is the very, very first beginning of us watching Hidden Colors, the second documentary. Talk to you afterwards. I can already I can already see what this is. Like I, I just made a video about this guy who who used melanin theory. Like it's a racist pseudoscience scientific theory that because black people have more melanin, they have like super strength, supernatural powers, super intelligence. Oh, all shit. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's called melanin theory. Like it's crazy. This is like triggering though, because I'm melanin challenge. <laughs> yeah, there's a. I mean, the, the the subtitle of this film is Hidden Colors Two: The Triumph of Melanin. The it's a beautiful word to use, huh? Yeah. I it's like right. everyone has melanin, just some a little bit more than others. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Thanks for reminding me. I don't have as much. I appreciate that. I'm I, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know melanin. I didn't know melanin was linked to an IQ or whatever intelligence. That's what mm -hmm. these black supremacists believe. It's, oh yeah. It's really crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they also think that a shaman can like summon lightning to shoot white people, but you know, <laughs> right? Or that you wow. can strum a lute over somebody's body to heal them. Don't forget that one. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Hashtag. I don't have health insurance because I have a lute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtags lutes for Africa, guys. <laughs> We're gonna wait. Curate. You can kill white people with lightning. What? <laughs> lutes cure AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> only, only white people. But only no white, yeah. Black people are not affected. Melanin this, makes you this lightning. This sounds proof. no different than that one woman from like South Africa who did that one video about how they do the exact same thing: shoot stuff out of lightning. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She said, was, like, "What was it? Science was racist." Yeah. Yes, Husbands. X X X friends. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. I hope you have health insurance because I got a loot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melanin is a neurochemical that is produced in part through the pituitary and the pineal gland. No, it's they not. They play a central Wait, role in the formation of melanin. Yeah, neural. Oh. <laughs> ultimately responsible for the color that we have in our skin. Now, historically, it had always been thought that melanin played a significant role in the intellectual propensity of African people. For example, when you study historically some writings on <laughs> melanin or the color of Africans, many of the Greek philosophers believed that that melanin played some sort of a role in how Africans had been able to create and develop some of the sciences that they had come to be known for. So melanin uh, was always considered an intellectual no. sort of a chemical. What? Okay, what yeah, does see, this have to do with anything? Basically, it's, what she's trying to say, what he's trying to say, is that people without melanin are less intelligent than those with melanin. Yeah. yeah see, this this is this is uh, melanin theory. This is what I was talking about. This melanin theory. Oh my Jesus. god. But, I want to know. Like, say the exact same thing that the that's black true. people. Yes. The pineal gland, which produces melanin, it's shaped like a pine cone. And the origin of the word pineal literally means oh, the yes. pine cone. Jesus. Shit. Now, in ancient symbolisms, the pine cone has always been represented because people knew oh, the importance of the pineal gland as it related. The fuck to is this guy talking about? <laughs> do people wait? Wait. Do they actually think? Do they think that these people back then knew what the inside of the brain looks like? 
Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure they like because they have melanin. Hammered open some some heads and like poked around in the brain. The problem. Yeah, is, but how would they know that specific part is what makes melanin? I, it's it's all make believe and it's all more recent shit. This is not ancient ideas. Decalcifying your pineal gland is the kind of shit like woke super spiritual crusty hippies talk about all the time man you just gotta decalcify your pineal gland open your third eye it's bullshit it's been bullshit for years um so basically these guys are co-opting pseudoscience that's been around for like a couple hundred years and saying like oh no 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 we knew about that like you know three four thousand years ago oh man yeah yeah, because it was super woke super woke Melanin is a molecule, and the concept of melanin is, is a it, it, it yes. is black in its nature, and we find it. Guys, guys, there's the evidence, man. It's over. <laughs> Molecules don't We've have color. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath a microscope. <laughs> We're done. I imagine. I imagine this this, this fucking wanker. This hangout like, is over. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine this guy like reading a chemistry textbook, and he sees like you know a complex molecule, and it's all like color coded for what's the, you know what's which atom, and he's like. That's the real color of those fucking. Oh my god! Okay, right, oh. hydrogen is really red in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oxygen oh. is blue. Trust me. Right. <laughs> Why did they change the color of uh, of oxygen molecules in the textbooks from this year to this year? It's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy against black people, guys. <laughs> I remember no, no, no. I remember a textbook uh, when I was reading. You know, when I was in high school and I was learning about these things. Some of the molecules were black, and it would be like they colored the molecules black, and obviously they aren't that color. But I can just imagine this guy years from now is like, you know what they don't do? They don't color molecules black anymore. You know what that means? They're trying to erase black people out of history, molecule history. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised either. It's black genocide. <laughs> They're starting with yeah. the molecules. We find it in water, we find it in land, we find it in everything. (laughs) (laughs) You literally cannot have melanin in water and have it be water. Right? Where's my black water, guys? Where's my brown color? Unless it's blue or something, otherwise, you can have have the water. What's in the black sea, man? <laughs> God damn it! If he if he wants brown water so bad, why doesn't he take his happy ass to Africa? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, damn! Oh shit! Savage! She went there. The sperm of the of the male and the egg of the woman—they're both layered with melanin. No! No! And they're gonna have an, no! an animation of it too. Oh, no! Look at this beautiful melanated sperm about to hook up with right? this beautiful melanated egg. It's so black. <laughs> it's so that, black. That's what... that sperm is so black. Oh yeah, it's very black. black. Like it's not white at all. Holy it's black. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why. That's why some are faster than others. Some have more melanin than the others, so they're faster, right? I mean. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there is a melanin explosion. A melanin, melanin explosion. explosion. <laughs> God damn it! But this is so hard. You're not There's no showing me a, a black explosion. Show me the melanin explosion. It's red. There's no way we're going to get through this video like with this going on. <laughs> Its intelligence is responsible for the forming of the nervous system. Every part of the nervous system has these little black dots all through it, which <laughs> essentially carry information. <laughs> no way. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I, I didn't know this uh, after f- uh, five years studying biology, but apparently there are little black dots through our nervous system. <laughs> That carry information. I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't know any of this. Um, 
You what? know what like really bothers me? They they don't like this really isn't science. They 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 judge they see things from an observational everything, like from an observational point of view. If it's black or if it's colored black or brown, it must have melanin. What in it. Is- <laughs> I mean There's they see everything from such an observational, shallow point of view where you know they phenotypes they think phenotypes if if it has big lips it must be black now what if there was a white woman with big lips is she black now like that that, they judge everything she's trans trans black trans black black. (laughs) if she can twerk good and she has big lips and a big butt she's black all her genetic (laughs) melanin uh just all went to her lips i guess i don't know right all of it (laughs) i don't know what happens what happens the other way around like if you have a black woman that doesn't work well and has big lips (laughs) that means turn white (laughs) i think that means her booty is melanin deficient right (laughs) yeah i don't fucking know oh my god i'm I'm buying a booty (laughs) give her a loot and we can heal it Damn it. I'm gonna use this loot joke the whole time. Fucking A. <laughs> yes, please. Because we have access to a different form no. of energy than other we, folks. No. Not only is no. no, you're not different so from obvious. anyone else. Calm down. <laughs> no. You he wanna just, be special. Said, right. You he said special. that we talk differently because of our. I talk like your normal girl from Michigan. <laughs> And I've been told that I talk white. Does that mean that I lack melanin in my voice box? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I guess. I don't know. When I get you, drunk and I start listening to fucking ludicrous, I guess I'm activating my melanin. I don't know. When PewDiePie says Nick <laughs> oh my says God. the N-word, it's the I cannot believe just melanin. how many people actually reacted to that kind of nonsense. Like the fact that they reacted to PewDiePie the way they did was just so fucking ridiculous. What was the funny oh. thing recently? Was like Black Navy or something? Or uh, Negro Navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was reading some of those shoes. They were so oh, funny, dude. It was hilarious. Somebody wrote somebody somebody wrote on their Twitter that every time Nigger Navy uh sinks a battleship, somebody yells, World Star <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. That was the funniest joke I've ever seen. But melanin as an intelligence is a communication oh module that essentially broadcasts as well as receives information by like the whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I can talk to the sun. Broadcast information. I can talk to the sun. <laughs> Did you hear that guys? You hear that guys? Tyler and I are radios. That's what we are. We're radios. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Like, I can actually talk to the fucking son. The pineal glands of most of our white brothers and sisters are calcified, and so they make less melanin. And that comes from the historical relationship to what we call the Wormy and Ice Age. This is that many Koreans. thousand years of glacial freezing that happened in Europe after the Africans mommy moved up there. What did Hooters came to survive? Damn, they were sexy. Put them back. Of the fish, no, who was able to adapt could survive, who wasn't able to adapt died. So, those people who were able to get rid of their melanin was able to survive. Those who could not get rid of their I, hey, I'm gonna. I, at some point, they're gonna call. They're gonna. They're gonna bring in like the interbreeding of Neanderthals as as like some oh, yeah. some drastic reason why they why white people are melanin deficient. They have to. I think this is crazy because I just did a video debunking all of this stuff, mm-hmm. and now I'm confronted with this stuff again. I thought it was over. I thought I wouldn't have to deal with this again. Keep dragging you back. Right. <laughs> not zero birth rate, but they're keeping up with the natural death, that minus birth rate. And so that's why there's so much emphasis on artificial birth creation and other ways to have babies and make babies that are beyond the, the normal. 
And you'll also find that this adopting black babies, the Haiti thing. Oh yeah, that's just awful. Just just awful to adopt black babies. No, if if black people have, or these black people have a problem with white people adopting black babies, how about they take their butt out there and adopt these kids who need parents? Fucking A. Fucking A. Well, my, my ex and I tried to adopt in, in L.A. County a long time ago because I kept having miscarriages and I lost my son and I needed something to replace my, my, my little boy. So right. I looked into adoption and they made such a big deal about they didn't have any white babies for us and we had to take all these classes about it, you know, it was, it was a black baby. It, um, it, it, they weren't sure if we could handle it because we were, we were white and it was just, so they, in the end they turned what? us down. What? What, 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 what? You went through, you went through a state adoption, was this a state adoption or a private? No, this was through the state. Wow. That's that's discrimination. That's state discrimination. You need a class to raise a black Yeah, yeah, specifically to teach us how to deal with it with, because we're white and they're black and there's a difference and like, they wanted to make sure that we could be a proper parent and then, um. Like, their perception is that because you're white, if you're ever, you know, in a situation where you where you are being confronted about having a black child they i guess they perceive that you may not be able to handle it correctly yeah i mean yeah. the only thing you need to handle it with is mind Holy your own business that's it the government and the french government have you noticed so they blur out all the way people's faces in this going on oh yeah they do yeah. and they also blur out all the text for anything that might be corroborating or you know not denouncing their opinion yeah, yeah don't, don't go over there People going into Africa trying to get these children up out. Oh, Benedict. Yeah. There's a war being waged on melanated people. <laughs> oh my God! The oh, past. should again. realize that Here a war is go. going on. A lot of melanated people do not realize that this war is going on. Yeah. Nice actually, story. I didn't know that there was actually a war against me. Thanks for telling me that. <laughs> I mean, is, are, are we on the platform of like everybody has melanin, but some have more? Or are we on like some people just don't have melanin? Or is melanated a, a delineation of somebody who has a specific amount of melanin or higher? Because th- that's really stupid. Because what happens when people have, I don't know, with illegal for example? What are they? Uh, to me, to me, when they say melanated people, I feel like they're specifically saying black, like African-American or African. Uh, I think I really think that's who they're spe- specifically talking about. Right. But well, you could argue that I, I have melanin, for example, and I'm not. They black. don't care. Well, well, you obvi- you're a person of color, but I mean, I'm not trying to be like mean or anything. But they don't care about you. They yeah. don't. They don't. <laughs> I'm not they don't. To me. <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying. But they they do not like. They'll sit there and say that they that you know they care about all the people of color. But the actual people that they see, that they care about are African Americans, and you know they're mostly talking about African Americans, and maybe they mean Africans included, but they're mostly talking about African Americans. And every time these people act like they care about other people of color, the reality is is that they don't. They don't care about other people. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the first supercut of the second movie. Uh, I just realized that my hat is crooked. There we go. Um, <laughs> stay tuned to my channel. Stay tuned to my Twitter. Uh, I'll, I'll make a big announcement when we're going to do the next Hidden Color stream. It'll be a lot of fun. It always is. And uh, I hope everything in your life is going fantastically from me to you, my family to yours. See you next time. Have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.